Item number SCP-6984, Security Level 2, Containment Class Safe, Secondary Class Integrated, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Assigned Site, Site 322, Site Director, Director Paul Log. Research Head, Researcher Natalia Kemp. Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6984 is contained in Containment Chamber 112 at Site 322. Prior to renovation, Chamber 112 was referred to as Restroom 18. Staff with Level 2 clearance or higher are permitted to enter the chamber should they require biological material for research. Samples of deposits effluents are tested weekly. Containment specialists are to be contacted should the fluid composition cease resembling human cerebrospinal fluid. Description SCP-6984 is an anomalous faucet which produces cerebral spinal fluid, CSF. When open, regardless of the fluid it is provided, the anomaly was identified in 2017 following reports of faulty plumbing in restroom 18. Millions request 117, 2017. Two Hendricks from Coex. Subject, broken faucet. Mr. Hendricks was wondering if you could take a look at the westmost faucet in restroom 18. Water tastes much sweeter than it used to. Good day. Dr. Coex, Research Head, Site 322, sent for my iPhone. To Coex, from Hendrix, subject, regarding broken faucet, ticket 117, 2017. Hi, Entity, you're drinking from the restroom sink, Chase. Mr. Hendrix, don't interrogate my personal preferences, fix your sink. Good day, Dr. Coex, Research Head, Site 322. Send for my iPhone. Hey, Coex. Sure, I can take a look. Will you be able to stay hydrated while I investigate? Do you want me to swing by your office and drop some grey water to tide you over? Chase. Send for my office. Mr. Hendricks, do you like your job? Does it pay well? Do you get paid to be sarcastic? Stop emailing me! Good day! Dr. Coex. Research head. Site 322, sent for my iPhone. After inspection by Site 322 maintenance staff found no fault, the faucet was subjected to testing. Subsequently, the object was given its SCP designation, and the present contempt procedures were enacted. As of yet, no human has been identified as a genetic match with SCP-6984 influence. Update, 23rd of June. 2018. Following a presentation given by Dr. Lee's Reindeers at 2018's Intersite Containment Confluence, Reindeers Lee's PhD, 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 not want not. How to deal with your problems so we don't have to. Foundation ISCC, 18th of June, 2021. Site 43 Lecture. Live stream. Site director Paul Log nominated a number of on-site anomalies, including SCP-6984, for the site integration program. After a brief period of ideation and testing, the anomaly was integrated into the site's infrastructure. Notice from Integration Program Project Lead. The integration of SCP-6984 has been a success. We now pump fluid waste through to SCP-6984, where it's converted to CSF and undergoes standard biohazard disposal. We're working our way to using it as our primary fluid waste disposal method. But the guys in the AA department would like to stress that you shouldn't introduce any solid matter to SCP-6984's plumbing. It ain't broke. Don't break it. Paul Log, Site Director, Site 322, Update, 4th of November, 2020. 
SCP-6984 function as an anonymous filtration system for waste fluids remained untendered for over two years. However, on the 2nd of November 2021, SCP-6984's output halted completely. Its supply of achromatic waste, however, continued to build up. The untreated achromatic waste was stored in a buffer tank before reaching SCP-6984 and began to accumulate there. The fault was identified before this accumulation triggered an alarm due to the diligence of Dr. Anthony Coex, who contacted site maintenance within two hours of SCP-6984 running dry. Maintenance Request 321, 2020 Two Hendrix from Coex, Subject, Broken Faucet, Again. Mr. Hendrix, the sink in restroom 18 is now blocked. Even if you couldn't get the taste back to normal, I expect you to ensure it maintains a regular flow. Fix it. Dr. Coex, Research Head Site 322, sent for my iPhone. To Coex, Correspondence, Ellison, from Hendrix, Subject, Regarding Broken Faucet, Again. Ticket, 321-2020. Anthony, are you talking about SCP-6984? I didn't know you were assigned to that. I'll send this to containment maintenance. Chase. What? Send for my iPhone. Oh, God. Didn't no one tell you? I suggest you report to the medical wing ASAP. Tell them it's long-term biohazard exposure. Chase. Following investigation by containment maintenance, a blockage was identified within the piping of SCP-6984. The following log details the intervention effort. Begin log. Yusuf Ellison, containment Ains and Natalia Kemp, containment specialist, are standing in SCP-6984's containment chamber. Chase Hendricks, site maintenance, enters with plumbing equipment. All three are wearing level 8 hazmat suits. Thanks for coming in for this. We could have managed, but we didn't have the tools with us. And since your office is so close by... No, no, I get it. No worries. I'm just glad to be in all this gear. He taps his helmet. I feel like I should be wearing this for my regular jobs, too. Hendrix approaches SCP-6984. He takes a deep breath. Then inserts the end of a handheld auger into the faucet. Hendrix begins threading the auger through the object's plumbing. How far do you reckon this thing is? We were unable to lo- Oh, I've got it, I think. Hendrix squeezes the trigger of the auger handle, closing to the face's grabbing mechanism. He frowns. It's kind of spongy. Weird. It's definitely manageable. It's moving when I pour it, if there's or there is. Are you prepared to remove the obstruction? Listen, you guys are the ones who deal with this kind of thing on the daily. You tell me, is it safe to pour it out? We have performed a number of preliminary tests and have identified no... I agree, we don't know. We're probably as safe as you. It's an anomaly. Despite everything, it's still going to be hard to predict. All we know is that this way is less likely to damage SCP-6984 than a more invasive intervention. Hendrix sighs. He begins winding the auger, pulling the blockage towards the faucet. The resistance from the obstruction increases, and he strains while winding. Are you alright? Need help, uh, winding, pulling. Hendrix nods with gritted teeth. He stops winding the coil and begins pulling to the face away from the faucet. Allison and Kemp assist him in pulling the auger cable out of SCP-6984. Okay, it's pretty close. Follow heave. One, two, three! Allison, Kemp, and Hendrix pull the cable together and it flies loose from the faucet. The three fall backwards as a high pressure jet of fluid begins to run through SCP-6984. Addison gets up to turn off the faucet, while 
Kemp and Hendricks inspect the end of the organ cable, which holds a pink mask. It's that! And log! The neural tissue recovered from the intervention was designated SCP-6984-1. Should a similar issue arise, the recovered material is to undergo testing, then standard biohazard disposal. Following the removal and containment of SCP-6984-1, a review of the object's role in SCP-322's infrastructure is underway. Regardless of the outcome, Dr. Coex has been banned from entering Containment Chamber 112.